they know everything are a great annoyance to those of us who do. Isaac Asimov. Hello, this is Pat Coakley, and this is my humor collection for my podcast, artofthediet.com, weekly drops on Wednesday of each week. And some of you know my story, but to those of you who are new and who may not, I've maintained a 60-pound weight loss for eight-plus years. I, honest to God, do not know how the hell I did it this time, as opposed to multiple other times in my life. I'm 72, so I've got a long life and a long roller coaster of up and down. But this time I've done it. And I began a blog, artofthediet.com, in February of 2015 to try to figure out why I was successful this particular time, but not so many others. And then I started the podcast six months later. So I blogged daily for a year and now have had weekly podcasts for over two years. And with each episode, I generally begin with something funny, a quote generally from someone else. Believe it or not, I do get tired of myself. (laughs) And so I put together this uh, compilation of funny quotes that relate to all of us who struggle with weight issues, regardless of where we are on the continuum. Sometimes, honestly, I read these quotes instead of eating something healthy or visiting some very serious and helpful blog post on how to, you know, maintain my weight loss. Sometimes I just can't deal with one more factoid about my reality. So for me, humor is the number one diet tip I have for everyone. And here's my sense of humor. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you find it helpful to get through your day. And I can be found at www.artofthediet.com every Wednesday and hope you'll join me. Okay, here we go. I do not own any camping gear, but this is not a problem, as I have watched every season of Survivor. David Thorne, The Internet is a Playground. It would be really nice for me to volunteer for something. Who knows, maybe I will someday. I'm such a good person for thinking of possibly doing that. Allie Brosh. Moi does not recommend dieting. The only way you can lose weight is the same way you lose anything. By forgetting where you put it. Miss Piggy. Oh, Lord, at age 72, Miss Piggy's wisdom is really right on. Okay. Eating rice cakes is like chewing on a foam coffee cup, except less filling. Dave Barry. I'm launching a new kind of briefs with science facts on them. They are called Wonder Pants. Paula Pell. If you're on Twitter, follow Paula Pell. She makes me laugh out loud. It's called diet because all other four-letter words are taken. Anonymous. Wow, that lean cuisine really (laughs) filled me up. Said by no one ever. Anonymous. I have never run with scissors. Those last two words, 
were unnecessary. Anonymous. Diet ideas. Eat whatever you want, and if anyone tries to lecture you, eat them too. Anonymous. Unless you fell off the treadmill and smacked your face, no one wants to hear about your workout. (laughs) Anonymous. Get your facts first, then you can distort them as you please. Mark Twain. Oh, what a wise man. I haven't trusted polls since I read that 62% of women had affairs during their lunch hour. I've never met a woman in my life who would give up lunch for sex. Irma Bombeck, the queen, and I mean it's still the reigning queen of humor. As my artist statement explains, my work is utterly incomprehensible and is therefore full of deep significance. Calvin. And I'll end on my contribution to diet humor. If chocolate isn't the answer, could you repeat the question? Pack Oakley. And P.S., I put it on a mug, and you can buy it at gardenshop.thephotogardener.com. Just saying.